So good evening, Marvin. Hi, teacher. How are you, Marvin? ¿Cómo está? I'm fine. And you? Very good. Very good. It's ready for you. Cindy, hello, Cindy. Hello. How are you, Cindy? Come on, madre. Very good. How are you? Happy? <laughs> okay. Hi, Oscar. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Very well. Thank you. So I'm just here. Um, thanks. I'm just checking some things. Where's the ball? Hello, welcome, Carlos. Good evening. Y que ha habido problemas en la plataforma para las actividades. Y ahorita sí ya los escucho. Uh, Carlos, hola, hola, Carlos. Hola, how are you? Well, how about you? Dicen que ha habido problemas en la plataforma para las tareas, ¿será? Eh, no, me parece que es una cuestión no. de, del el ingreso, de la contraseña y del usuario. Ah, sí. Creería que es la contraseña. Uh -huh. ah, no, no es este. Sí, es que ahora Zoom a mí me pide ingresar con el correo, ya no solo con la clave y, y el ID. Uh -huh. Sí, muy probablemente. Bueno, pero es parte de Zoom también. Puede ser del, del, acá de la configuración también que tenga. Sí. Uh -huh. So, worry about it. Sí, porque en ciertas ocasiones no lo pide. Me parecería que es este, sí, sí, sí. un requisito que se ha dejado la configuración. Ok, so we're going to start, guys. Uh, welcome. Let's see. Elsie. Hello, Elsie. Welcome. Sarita. Hello, hello. Sarita. Welcome. Ok. So hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to start with this. And um, okay, so let me share something else. No, this is the one. So can you see the presentation, one guys? Minute. Can you see that? Yes. Did Thank you finish your paragraph? Let's see. Yes. We're gonna start with the paragraph. Um, just keep in mind this. Uh, you just have to complete this paragraph with your information. And we have uh, your name, the place where you live. Recuerden que estamos haciendo el día de ayer. Nada más lo terminamos y seguimos con otra actividad. So, um, in order to do this, I'm going to give you some minutes so you can work with someone and read your paragraph. But I'm going to write an example. Uh, hi, my name is Adeline. I live in. So, remember, you are the place where you live. If you haven't finished that. I work for it. You mentioned, uh, okay, write this. Okay. 
my workplace is located on 90, 93, I think, 93 North Avenue. I think this is the right one. North Avenue. Okay. Recuerden que si acaban de ubicar ustedes una dirección más exacta, es decir, si van a ubicar el número del building o del edificio, van a utilizar adverb. Si lo han hecho así, ad, por ejemplo, 93, um, okay. mira, Monte Street. So this is one example. Ya cerraron. Ok. Entonces, Vomitó ahí, la luna. Depende, ahí depende si sí. ustedes ubicaron. Eh, Pásenme algo para limpiar después. Si lo van a ubicar completa, hay que ubicar el número del edificio más el nombre de la calle. Pero tenemos que modificar esta proposición. If not, eh, you only have the name. Si no, en este caso, 93 es parte del nombre de la avenida. O podemos ubicar nada más el nombre de la calle. Por okay? um, ejemplo, mira, Monte. I don't know if there is a street like this. Entonces, hay un nombre con esa, eh, un nombre así, o hay una calle que se llame así, pero eso solamente es un ejemplo. Ok. Uh, in my workplace, there are, there is, recuerden que acá eh, lo dejaba tentativo que lo podía modificar. In my workplace, there is, um, ok, there are a lot of offices, for example. For example, Okay, and you mentioned the offices. Y aquí puedo mencionar las oficinas o puedo mencionar los buildings que hay adentro, los departamentos, cafeterias, and different places that we can find in your company. Um, but, okay, so let me drag this. Okay, so I'm going to move this here. Voy a mover por acá. Okay, but there are no, and you have to to mention something that we cannot find in your company. But there are no, uh, I don't know, um, uh, banks, for example, or ATMs, okay? ATMs, okay, ATMs. In addition, there are a lot of banks. Besides that, you can find a cafeteria. And I like my workplace because it's a nice job because I like to help some people because I love finances because I I really like helping others. So you can mention one reason why you like your job. Pues acá al final solo mencionan algo porque de una razón por la cual eh, pues les gusta su, su lugar de trabajo. Puede ser la ubicación, puede ser, well, you mentioned some, or something that you're oriented to, right? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, I, I just want to hear one example and then we go to the breakout rooms and you share that with your classmates. Vamos a compartir en las salas, pero quiero escuchar un ejemplo primero. Okay, let's see. One volunteer. Vamos a un voluntario. Okay, Mr. Yes, one volunteer. Marvin, Carlos, Sarita, anybody, Cindy? I. Okay. Me. Okay. Sarita, go ahead. Well. Hi. My name is Arsarita. I live in San Salvador. I work for Colegio Salvadoreño Ingres. My workplace is loca uh, like a, located. Um, located. 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 Um, uh, 80, 85 near. Avenue. And in workplace, they are classrooms. But there are not an ATMs. In addition, there are a lot of banks, restaurants, drugstores. Besides that, you can find I like my workplace because. I can play with the children. Okay, I can play with the children. Okay, with the children. No, it's children. Children. Mm -hmm. Children. 
And, um, okay, besides that, you can find, además de eso, so, uh, very good, Sarita, excellent. Solo acá nos hizo falta algo más. Eh, además de eso, po, tú puedes o ustedes pueden encontrar, ¿qué más podemos encontrar? So you can mention something additional, something that we don't expect, algo que no esperamos que haya, but you have it, okay? Besides that, you can find a huge cafeteria, or besides that, you can find a, a pollo campero branch, I don't know, no sé, puede ser <laughs> una, una sucursal del pollo campero or something else, something, something additional, right? Algo adicional. Okay, let's see. Um, anybody else who wants to share now? Okay, alguien más quiere compartir ahorita? Anybody else? Because you're going to do that in the breakout rooms. Elsie, you ready, Elsie? And uh, check this, mm -hmm. 85, 85, 80, 85, 85. Okay, um, let's see, Elsie, you ready, Elsie, or Carlos? You want to share? Okay, me. Okay, Carlos. Here. Um, hi, my name is Carlos. I live in, in uh, Street uh, Airport. I work from Visasa. My workplace is located on road for Puerto de la Libertad. In my workplace, there are a human resource, a bookkeeper department, and sales department. Department, perdón. In addition, there are a lot of Híjole, no sé, no, no, no me fijé. Escribí sobre la oración, no leo. Ah, ok, so let me move this. Oh, ok. Ahora, ahí lo veo. Bo, eh, Borat, there are, no, eso no lo completé. Mm -hmm. There are no something that you don't have, algo que no hay. So you can mention ah. a, any store, I don't know, a drugstore, a clinic, no sé, a veces la, a veces la lugar. Drugstore. Uh -huh. oh, ser border, eh, uh -huh. border are no uh -huh. drugstores in addition okay. there are lot of uh, gym okay Bes uh, besides that you can find no, a restaurant I like my uh, I like my workplace for a uh, evening work time or home office. Oh, I like my workplace because, repeat the sentence, please. Uh, home office. Ah, okay. Because... O, o tiempo, ¿cómo podría ser tiempo híbrido? O sea, ¿puedo llegar a la oficina o me puedo quedar trabajando en casa? Es optativo. Mm, okay. I work from home. Okay, because I work from home o sea, or on-site. On-site. Ah, on okay. On-site. Oh, you can say because I can work from home or from on home site. Or inside, inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, nice. Well done, Carlos. And um, Jessica, you want to share now? Yes, Jessica. 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 Yes, Okay, Marvin. Marvin, go ahead, Marvin. Uh, hi, my name. My name is Marvin Perez. I live in Armenia City. I work for Redcom. My workplace is located on Santa Ana Street 25, 25 South Avenue. My workplace, there, there are human resources and different work office, but there is not, it's not coffee shop. In addition, there are a lot of restaurants and banks. Beside that, you can find a tire, a tire shop, tire shop. I like my workplace because I have many friends. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you, Marvin. So I just um have a question about the address, the address. Solo la pregunta de, de la ubicación um, del, 
trabajo. So look at this, important. Acá, I work, uh, my workplace is located. Um, acá podríamos agregar otra oración, Marvin. I work in. Y acá iría el, el departamento, el municipio. Ok. Ajá. Y después separamos a eso. My workplace is located. Acá ya vamos a poner la, el nombre de la calle. Which is the name of the street. ¿Cuál era el nombre de la calle? 25 Avenida Sur. Ah, es una avenida. Ok. Sí. Avenue. Okay, so I, my, my workplace is located on the 25th Avenue. Okay, on the 25th, 25th Avenue. And E, podría agregar aquí esto in Santa Ana, I think so, right? Si no lo ponemos ahí arriba, lo podemos poner aquí abajo para dar un poquito más de referencia. Okay, in Santa Ana. Me parece que, que esto es. No sé si, no, si nos estamos, estamos omitiendo algo más ahí. No sé si decía norte o, o decía algo así. ¿Qué más decía? Sur. 25 sur. avenida sur. 25, uh, ok. 25 South Avenue in Santa Ana. Ok. Ok, 25, 25th South Avenue in Santa Ana. Ok, eh, recuerda acá nada más que in sería con eh, cities, neighborhoods, um, and uh, some buildings, right? Okay. Recuerden que on va con avenidas o va con eh, nombre de calles. Ok, just that, Marvin. So we're going to work in the breakout rooms. So I need you to share your experiences, your paragraph with your classmates. So I'm gonna open the breakout room so you can work with your classmates. Okay, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es compartir nuestros párrafos. So I need you to read your paragraph uh, to your classmates, okay? Ok, me avisan ahí si no, les, si no han recibido la invitación todavía. Yo todavía estoy completando la parte, no sé si los demás ya la tienen. Hola. Yo Hola. lo tienen, yo lo tienen completo. 
Pues yo Todavía sí. No, no tengo. Mm, yo no me conectaba porque lo estaba terminando. Pero ya lo terminé. ¿Y Carlos? No he terminado. No sé si Carlos ya terminó. Ya terminó. No sé si nos escucha. Hola. Hola. Yo creo que no nos escucha. Entonces le pasamos mm. nosotros. Sí, si gusta, pues, quiero ver si le puedo tomar fotos y se los mando. Para que copiarlo. Bueno, yo lo único que no he hecho es el mapa. El mapa no lo he hecho yo. Solo lo demás. Ajá. Eh, porque el mío sí, como le decía a Oscar, el mío es I, my name is Nina, I live in Panchimalco, San Salvador. Um, I work for Cipsa SADCB. My workplace is the locative on Boulevard San Elena, Department La Libertad. Mm -hmm. uh, in my workplace, there is a cafeteria. But they do not say pupusas in the morning. Besides that there are many banks and many fast food business, you can also find the Holiday Inn Hotel, the American em Embassy, among other. I like my workplace because I have many fast food outlet accessible. Accessible. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Este, el mío. Eh, hi. My name is Janira. I like in Vizuca La Libertad. I go for um, el caldía de Butuca. My, my workplace is located on the street Manuel Enrique Araujo. In my workplace, there are office, but there are no cafeteria. In addition, there are lot of store. Beside then you can. Fin, Dini, Hums, I like your place because very nice. Ese es lo mío. Lo mío, hi, my name is Carlos. I live, I live in San Salvador. I work from Visa. My work is located on Road of Puerto de la Libertad. In the department, La Libertad. In my workplace, there is a minivan, but there are no food. In addition, there are lots of. A... My workplace is located on Autopista a Comalapa. Uh, mm -hmm. In my workplace, there are a lot of gas station and restaurant, but there is there is not ice store. In addition, there are a lot of some car wash. Uh, besides that, you can find an airport. Uh, and I love my work because I know many people of different professions. In my map, todavía no lo he terminado. No sabía que había ser, que tenía que hacer eso. Ya lo podemos. Tuvo Entonces, tiempo termino. y no lo terminó. Qué barbaridad. El Vamos trabajo. a conchar. El Yo trabajo. también trabajo. Lo hice. <ríe> Todos trabajamos. Pero Todos trabajamos. Temprano. Yo me acuerdo tarde estudiando. Ah, que él estudia, que no. trabaja. Yo también estudio y trabajo. 
Y me, verdad. Acuesto, y me acuesto noche también. Yo solo trabajo y, es, y medio estudio y me acuesto noche. Bueno, o sea, ya ve todo, no acostamos. Pero a mí me toca, a mí me toca, se quedan ahí con las materias de la U. Entonces, ya estuvo. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Hola, estamos en otra sala. Ok. No. Con Cindy. ¿Quién más? Okay. Sí, ok. No, no, no hombre, estamos en la sala principal. ¿Eh? <risa> hello, hello. What happened? <risa> ¿Qué les pasó? <risa> No, pues estaba, bonito, estaba bonita la conversación y, y nos sacaron de la sala no, más que ya está entusiasmado yo. I'm sorry I apologize for that ok, so uh, thank you guys, so now we continue uh, with some more things and let me let me share that with you, so today uh, we continue with some prepositions of a uh, place and movement and this is our class objective so look at this we have uh, participants will be able to ask and answer questions related to the location of others workplaces and places around them so we're going to study some prepositions okay so besides the other ones that we started yesterday so we continue learning so we're going to check some vocabulary look at this uh, we have um, parking lot So can you identify the parking lot? So which is the parking lot? What is a parking lot? Parking lot? Parking lot. Mm -hmm. Parking lot, that is uh, this one, right? Como espacio de parqueo. Parqueo grande, mucho parqueo. parqueo. El parqueo, that's a parking lot. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Nearby, nearby means ideas. Nearby. Which picture nearby, near, nearby? For example, Pollo Campero is nearby. Mm -hmm. mm. It means cerca, nearby, cerca. So, but we end a sentence. Uh, for example, let's see. Mm. Okay, um, I don't know. Let me think about one example. Uh, oh, I don't know, which is the name of this hotel in, in front of Metro Centro? So do you know the name of the hotel? Do you know? Oh. Intercontinental, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So Metro Centro is nearby this place, right? Holidays, uh, what is a holiday? Do you remember? Holidays. Una festividad. Ajá, uh -huh, día festivo, vacaciones. So we're about to start holidays. Smile. So that's the word. And message. 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 So here you have some vocabulary. Parking lot, nearby, holiday. Smile. And message. Message. Okay, okay. Well, let's continue. Um, hold on. Sarah, help me with the microphone. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. We have a game and um, let's see how well you do it. So we're going to create some teams, okay? 
So we're gonna check how much do you remember about this? Okay, okay. So let's open it. So we need two teams, right? Just two, two teams. Okay, let's see, team number one. Team number one is going to be, so let me read that. Carlos, Elsie, Cindy, Douglas, and Eduardo. You're going to be, okay, Eduardo and, okay. Hector, you're going to be team number one, okay? Ileana, Marvin, Nikki, Oscar, Sarita and Yolanda, you're going to be team number two. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's do it. Okay. So uh, in here, you're gonna have uh, the points that you want to win. So you have to decide if you want to decide uh, win 100 points. So you go with this line, okay? So you have line one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So these are the lines. And here you have the columns, column one, column two, column three, column four, and column five, okay? For example, you can tell me. Okay, teacher, I want column number, uh, number one, line number five, okay? Column one, this is column one, line number five. One, two, three, four, five. For 500 points, okay? So that's the way how you how you are going to read that, okay? So remember, column, column one. Indian. Okay, column one, two, uh, three, four, and five. And line, okay, line one, two, three, four, or five. Okay, so the only thing that you need to consider here is the number of points that you want to, to win, right? Aquí lo único que van a considerar es el número de puntos que quieren ganar. If you go for 100, so I think they are the easiest one. Entonces, acá vamos de nivel. Um, yeah, aunque algunas están más fáciles. <laughs> but if you want to win the 500 points, so you can select any of them. So that's up to you. So, dejo opcional. so you can decide 100 points or 500. Entonces, les se los dejo ahí a ustedes. Se van por los 500 o por los 100. <laughs> or 200, si 300. Por los 500, so no if you want to win, si quieren ganar. <laughs> ya no hacemos las tareas y ganamos. <laughs> ah, no, no se vale porque nosotros hemos estado ganando y siempre las hacemos <laughs> es cierto siempre gana el equipo ganamos el equipo ok so let's see ok um, let's see team number one please select a number column three line five Okay, okay, column three, line number five. Let's see, for 500 <laughs> points, team one, you have to tell me um, which is the correct uh, for it. So you have to use there is or there are. Easy. There is. There is. There is one restaurant. There is. Okay, so let's check it. Very good. There is. Super yeah. easy, right? Okay. Continue. Team number two. Team number two. Mm, column number four. Okay. Column number four. Line. Line four. Line four. Four hundred points. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you have to decide if it is right or wrong, correct or incorrect, right or wrong. Is it right or is it wrong? There is a hospital on Tulipong Street. What do you think, correct or incorrect? 
Correct. Correct. Okay. So Digo I'm yo. Give, I'm going to give you some time. Le voy a dar tiempo cuando lo piensen mucho. <laughs> Let's see. Team number one. Okay. The points. Um, 400, right? Let's see. Team one. Select a column and a line. Team. Team number one. Eduardo, Eduardo. Están dormidos. Column two. Uh -huh, column, column two, two line, line, four. Four. Mm. Four two, line four. Line four. Okay, 400. Okay, again, the same. Right or wrong? It's right. It's right. Right. It's a beautiful painting in that yeah. museum. Okay, so let's check it. Right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And let's continue. That was number team, uh, team one, right? Okay, 900 points, 900. Team two, pick a number, a column, column. and a line. Column fine, line fine. Column fine, line fine. Nice decision, Marvin. There is, there are. There are, there are many traductor. computers. Sin ver traductor. <laughs> ah, okay, using the translator. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, 900. So we have a tie. Tenemos un empate. Let's see. Continue. Team one. Select one. Mm. Column four. Column three. Column three. Okay, column three. Line. Line fine. Four. Line fine. Mm, column three, this line one. Four. Line four. Okay. Several magazines at the store. There are. There are. There are several magazines. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's right. So this is for team number one, right? Number one. No puse atención ayer, pero medio, medio estuve. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, team two, please. Pick a number. Team two. Line. Uh -huh. Column four. Column four. Line five. Line five. Okay. So you go with the biggest one. Okay. Is it right or wrong? Five, four, three, two, one. Right or wrong? Number one, no, team number one, team number one. Team two, this it's is a, for team two. It's a wrong, it's a wrong. It's wrong. Correct. Wrong, okay. Okay, that was wrong. Thank you. Yes. That's for team two. Okay, team number no. one. Respondió el grupo número uno porque el número dos no respondió, teacher. Ah, oh, ok. Teacher, yo respondí por el número uno porque el grupo dos no respondió. Hay que respetar lugares, tres, dos, <ríe> los asientos. No, pero ella, ella dijo de que respondió el team one después que perdieron los cinco segundos. Se tardó demasiado en buscar en el traductor. <ríe> ok, so that was for team one. Ok. <ríe> nice, Eduardo. Thank you. Solo okay. Marvin y Oscar están en el 2. <laughs> team 1, your turn again. Teacher, ¿y cuántos Column miembros two? hay en el Team 2? Line 5. Sorry, Eduardo. Column. Okay. Column 2, line 5. Column 2, line 5. Okay. This is team number 1. Correct or incorrect? 5. Four. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Wrong. Incorrect. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. Nice. Wrong. Thank Wrong. you. Two hundred. Okay. Two thousand. Let's see. Um, volunteers. Team two. Outside. Keep us. So you can still do it. Keep us. Nikki, Oscar, Yolanda, uh, Marvin. <laughs> Team, go ahead. 
And where is Sarita? <laughs> Sarita. Column number. Sarita, Sarita. <laughs> okay, team two. Column number four. Column four. Are you sure, Marvin? No. Column four? No. 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 Number one. Number one. Excellent. <laughs> Five. Five. Okay, so which is the right answer? There is or there are? There are many fruits. Okay, there are. Perfect. Excellent, Marvin. Okay, uh, team one. Team one. Sorry, the equipo one. Who else? Who else? The equipo one. Elsie. Hola. Okay, so let's listen to Elsie. Elsie, tell us, Elsie. Colum. One. One. Okay. Four. Line four. Oh. Excellent, Elsie. Okay. There is, there are. There is. Mm -hmm. There is. There is. There is. Okay. There. Okay. There. Excellent. Okay. This is for team one. Okay. Team two. Let's see who else do we have for team two. Team two. Uh, Nick. Okay. Nick is a listener. Oscar. Team. O Oscar. Tell us, Oscar. Sarita, please help mm -hmm. us. Column five. Okay, column Oscar, five. column five. Column five, line four. Four, excellent. Which is the right answer? There is, there are. There are. There are. There are. Excellent. Very good. Okay, team two. Okay, team one. Team one. Column one, line three. Column one, line three, okay. Why? There are. There are. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. There are many books in the library. Okay, nice. Thank you. Let's see, team two. Sarita, uh, guys, team two, please. <laughs> no, they are sorry. No, aquí estoy. Aquí yes, estoy. you see, Sarita is here. Okay, Sarita, <laughs> select one. And, ay, pero es que en inglés no sé cómo decir. Column, 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 column one, two, three, four, and five. Line, I column one. two. Column two, line, one, two, or three. Uh, two. Two or three? Two. Line one, two, three. Two. So this is the number of points. El número de puntos que van a ganar, Sarita. 100, 200, 300. 200. 200. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Oh. Is it right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right. Right. There is a man playing. Okay. There is a man playing basketball. Very good. This is for team two. Nice. The difference is 1,000 points. Um, okay, team one. Go ahead, team. Line two. Hey, sorry, column two. Column three, line, line, two. line two. Okay, column three, line two. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, uh -huh, guys. There are six rows. There we are. There are six rows. Roses mm -hmm. in the base. Yes. Okay, that's right. This is for team one, right? Okay, team two, please. Line three. Line three. Column, Column three. Line three. Okay. There is, there are. There is a museum. How say it's a museum? Okay, so let's check it. Very good. Team. Okay, team one. Team one, go ahead. Column four, line three. Okay, let's see. Column four, line three. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. is it right or wrong? Okay, yes. Right. Right, okay, right. right. That's right. Okay, this is for team one. Okay, team two. Hello, hello, team. No, Hello, bye. Hello, bye. Three. Three. Okay. There are, there are two. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two restaurants. Excellent, team two. Team one. Hello. Hello, three, no, line three. No, okay. column two, line three. Well done. Elsie, Elsie, tell us, Elsie. Column? Column two. Column two? Okay. Is it right or wrong? Is it right or wrong? It's right. Right. Okay, so let's check it. Very good. Okay. Team two, go ahead. You have 200 and 100 points. Come on, team. Marvin? Like um, column one, line two. Okay. There is, there are. There are eight apples. Okay, there are. Excellent. Team one, go ahead, team one. Let's see. Team one? Column five, number two, a line Column two. five, two, okay. ¿Quién dijo que ya perdieron? There are 11 there students are. in my... Geography class. Geography class. Okay, there are. Perfect. This, this is for team one, right? Okay. Uh, please, team uh, two. Team two. Okay, Hello, team. Four. Column four. Hello, four. Two. Two, okay. Tell me, is it right or wrong? Yeah, I don't see False, wrong. There are um, millions. It's right, man. Right or okay? Is it right or wrong? Wrong, wrong, wrong. wrong. Okay, so let's check it. It was right. Okay, yeah. so no points for this one. There are millions, millions, plural. Okay, um, uh -huh. team, team one, go ahead. So let's finish. <laughs> column one, line one. La column one, line one. Okay, column one, one. Uh huh. There is. There is. Okay, there is. Okay, one team two. One. Column. <laughs> Sarita, <laughs> I don't want to play it. <laughs> okay, uh, give me one column. Column two, three, four, five. 103. Three. Three. Okay. Okay. So, which is the right? Uh, there is or there are, Sarita? <laughs> there are. There are. Okay. Thank you, Sarita. This is for team two. Team one, go ahead. Team one, hello, hello, team. Column two, number one. Okay. Online one. Is it right or wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, Ron, perfect. Team two. So you have a four or five. Team 
Team two, hello, hello. What happened? Are you there? Sarita, Marvin, and the rest. Where is the rest? Los otros siete. Fatima. Fatima is here too. Fatima? Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Okay, perfect. So you came um, just on time. Let me um, tell us. Okay, column uh, four or five? Four. Four, okay. Is it right or wrong? Correct or incorrect? Yes, correct. Read the right. sentence. Right. 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 Okay. Why? Is it right, Marvin? Sarita, is it right or wrong? Yes. Right. 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 It's there right. 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 Wrong. Okay. Oscar. Wrong. 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 Okay. Nice. Thank there you. Are two years. Okay. And the last one for team one. There is. There is. There is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Team. So team one is the winner. Thank you, guys. So we are finished. And the difference is just one thousand. Okay. Solo mil difference. Okay. So let's go back to the presentation, and we're gonna study something else. Um. Okay, so just give me one second. And before doing that, we're going to study some prepositions of this. Escucha que están hablando. Escucha mucha interferencia. Check who is that one. Okay. Thank you, guys. So let me share with you this. <clears throat> okay, so look at this. We're going to study some more prepositions related to place. So we're gonna check some more. So, so far we have studied the uh, in, on, and not, and we're going to add some more. Vamos a agregar otras preposiciones para eh, indicar lugar, okay? Or location. So look at this, or when you give an address, you have to use these uh, prepositions of moment. Tenemos preposiciones de movimiento también. For example, look at this, go straight ahead, go straight ahead. So listen up, go straight ahead, go straight ahead, or go straight, uh, or go on, right? So go straight ahead, go on. Go straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Go straight ahead means, ¿qué quiere decir go straight ahead? What do you think? Go straight ahead. De derecho, right? Correcto. Why is it aquí No. <laughs> So how do you say? So another one could be go alone, go alone. So that could be another one. So you have go on, go alone, uh, and go straight ahead, okay? Go straight ahead. So when you give um, an address, right, or uh, directions, go on, go alone, go straight ahead, go straight ahead. So listen, listen up and repeat that with me, go on, Go on. Go alone. Go alone. Go, 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 go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Okay. Go straight ahead. So look at this. So this is the movement. Go straight ahead. Why is it right? Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Okay. So let's continue. We have some more. Okay. The next one is. Oh, turn left, turn left, turn left. Turn, turn left. Turn left. Gira. So what do we mean with turn left? ¿Qué quiere decir turn left? Ideas? Turn Gira left. Izquierda. Gira. Izquierda. 
Ah, cruzar a la izquierda. Cruzar a la izquierda. A la izquierda. Or you can also say make a left. So this is another possibility. Make a left. Okay. Make a left. And so what do you think about the other one? So what do you think about this one? ¿Qué hay de esta? So ¿cuál sería entonces esta? Make a right. A right. Uh -huh. Turn right or... Right, right. ¿Cuál es el equivalente de make a left? Ve a la izquierda. Make, make a right. Make a right. Okay. So again, look at this. We have go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Okay. Straight, no sé qué es. Ahead, adelante. Mm -hmm. Dirígete hacia adelante. Straight, no sé qué es. Ve derecho, recto. Ahora te apunta la cabeza. Straight. 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 Derecho, straight. recto. Mm -hmm. Ir recto, derecho, o al frente. Mm -hmm. Make a left or turn right. Y teníamos los dos aquí para hacer los giros. Make a left. Okay, turn right, uh, make a right, okay, turn left, turn left, or turn right, okay? So let's practice this. Turn left, make a left, make a left, make a left, make a right, make a right, mm -hmm. make a right. Mm -hmm. So when you're um, probably driving, you will hear uh, I don't know, Waze or the GPS saying uh, turn right, turn Google left. Map. No sé quiénes andan el GPS activo en inglés. Lo pueden activar para ir escuchando ahí las eh, addresses. Okay. So now let's continue. So this is the same. Entonces make a left y make a right es lo mismo que turn left y turn right. Okay. So now let's continue with these ones. Prepositions of place, okay, prepositions of place. So we have on, it means sobre, right? Above means arriba, over means encima, mm -hmm. and in front of means enfrente de. So how about this one, beside or next to? Look at this, a la par de o al lado, beside, beside or next to. Below means abajo. Under, okay, debajo, and behind means atrás. Look at this, behind, beside, okay, behind, atrás, beside, a un lado, in, dentro de, o in, right, under, debajo, on, sobre. So let's practice on, on, on above, home. above, 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 above. above. Uh -huh. So notice the difference. Noten la diferencia. Acá no, acá no necesariamente está, en, acá está encima de, ¿verdad? Encima de algo, de un objeto. Acá no. Es acá solamente decimos está arriba. For example, there is a picture above my desk. Hay una foto, hay una imagen arriba de, de mi escritorio. So it's, it, it doesn't mean that it's on the desk. No significa que está sobre, significa que está arriba. Okay, over, over. In front of, in front of, Under. in front of, beside, beside, beside. next beside. to, oh. next behind, to. Es atrás. beside, es al lado, beside next. means al lado, next to, a la ah, par de, uh -huh. below means next. abajo, under, debajo, Over. Sobre. Debajo. behind, behind, atrás. Behind, atrás. Behind, it means atrás. Carlos, behind. Okay. okay. Let's continue. We have so more. Look at this. So here you have so more pictures, so you can have an idea of it. So look at this. We have up. Anterior para copiar, para, up. Para copiar el pantalla. So el, ah, okay. El, gracias. Okay. There you have it. Thank you. Under is arriba, ¿verdad? Sí. Under, abajo. Under, abajo. De, ajá. Under means... Abajo. Uh -huh. ah, abajo de. Okay. O de, debajo. Uh -huh. So it means debajo de, debajo de algo. 
below, abajo. Entonces, sobre es on también, ¿verdad? Ajá, sobre. on significa on table, encima de, existe. on encima de. Above, arriba, over, sobre. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. So we basically have the same, tenemos algunas que están repetidas, but we're going to check the, the prepositions of movement. Vamos a ver algunas de movimiento. For example, up, up, down, out of, out of, fuera de, in, uh, it means inside, right? So look at uh, the rest of the examples. We have in, the ball is in the box. The ball is on the box. The ball is mm. under the box. And over means sobre, right? Over. So you pass over something. At, for a specific location. And across means that you cross something, right? Across. Cruzar. So across from. Go along. Es la que les comentaba. Es parecida como go straight ahead or go on, go alone. So you can say go alone. So go alone, uh, Roosevelt Street, and at the end of the street, you will find La Campana. I don't know. I don't know the name of the street. ¿Cuál es el nombre de esa calle que está ahí de Salvador del Mundo por abajo? Eh, Manuel Enrique Araujo. La Roosevelt. Esa está al... Uh -huh. Okay, so you can say go along Roosevelt Street and at the end you will find this place. So say, go along, ve derecho, ve recto, go straight, ahead podría ser también. Okay, so look at this. So here you have the same prepositions in, on, under, over, behind, between, uh -huh. Out, out means fuera. Far means uh, we're showing a distance. Acá estamos mostrando una distancia. Lejos, right? So far. In, so it means in the box, right? Miren, nótese que está aquí, está dentro de algo, right? On, under again, over, behind, between, uh, out of, or out, and far. So we're showing a distance. So this is basically the same. Okay. Um. Look at this. So we continue with some a practice. So let's see. We have. So now go ahead and try. No. We're going to try with some. No, but. Okay. So look at this. We have a map. We have a bank, a police station, a store. We have a main street. We have a first street and the second street. And we have some uh, stores. For example, there is a library, a school, uh, okay, and buildings. There is a school. Uh, you also have a post office. Besides that, there is a drugstore and a movie theater and a restaurant. Uh, a restaurant is um, behind the movie theater. There is a hospital across the movie theater. And there is also a church at the corner of a second street. Um, and on Central Avenue, there is a train station. So look at this. The police station is preposition, which is the right preposition. The beside, police station. Beside. Uh -huh. beside. beside. Police, police station the is time. the bank and the store. So read the full ah. sentence. Read the full sentence. Le damos toda la oración. The bank and the, the store. The bank and the store. Um, next. Next. The police station next is to... between. Between. Okay. Ah, between. The bank and the store. Between. 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 The police bank. station is, look at this, between, between the bank and the store. You have to mention the two places. Tengo que mencionar ahí los dos lugares. Okay, uh, how about number two, the drugstore? What is the drugstore? The drugstore is the police station. Drugstore. Drugstore, police station. Okay, so where is the drugstore? Ideas? What is the drugstore? 
in front of across from across from means al otro lado de la calle right usando across ah. from oh, enfrente de uh -huh. this is um similar to saying in front of across from the police station ah. about number three the school what is the school what is the school school let's look for the school the school is Bisay or next to. Okay, uh, so look at this. The school, uh, ah, okay. The restaurant. Beside, okay, could be. Beside. Could be next, next to, to or beside. Yeah, you're right, Marvin. Next to or beside. The train station is. What is the train station? The school. Okay, train station, uh -huh. school. Excellent, across from, okay, the school, the drugstore is, the movie theater and the post office. Look at this, look at this. the drugstore is, the movie theater and the post office. Between, between, between. Between, between the movie theater and the post office. In okay. May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so now let's continue with some more exercises. Uh, look at this. So now you have a picture and you have to tell me the correct preposition. So look at this. There is a house. There is a dog. The sun is over here. Um, there is a car and a tree. And I don't know what else. Okay, so I think that's all. The house is, what is the house? Remember the prepositions, right? So you have- Across you have, from? Um, okay, so let's go back to the prepositions. Being the car. Mm -hmm. In front of, behind, under, below, next to, behind. beside, above, on. Behind. Okay. In, out of, remember, remember this, across, along. Okay, so now let's go back. Um, okay, so here we have it. The house is, where is Hello. the house? The car. Hello? Mm. The house is behind the car. Behind. 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 Behind, okay, the house is behind the car. Yes, behind. What is the dog? The dog is? Across. Mm, the, look at this, the sun, the sun. So this is the sun. No, 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 perdón, no lo leí. No, or under. Hello. Okay, so let's check it. Excellent. The dog is below the sun. Below. How about number three? The tree is okay. The tree is to the of the house. Do you remember? The, uh huh. Tell me. Beside. Mm, okay. El árbol yeah. está a la yeah. de la casa. Near. On the Allah. Okay. Next to. Mm, look at this. Look at the sentence. The tree is to the. Ah, okay. To the left. To the left. El árbol está a la izquierda de la casa. The tree is to the left of the house. Okay. Number four. The car is the house. Tell me. In front. In front. In front of the house. The car is in front. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay, the sun is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The sun is. Behind. 
No. No, behind. You cannot be behind. Below. Above. Below. Adobe. Adobe. Mm -hmm. Adobe. The sun. The sun. The sun is. So the sun cannot be below. Over. No, estar abajo. Over the dog. Over. Or, above. Or low. Above. Above. Mm -hmm. above. Above. So it basically depends, uh, talks about distance. Entonces esto trata de distancia. The dog is below the sun. Mm -hmm. Abajo de, del sol. And um, está debajo del sol. The sun is above. Arriba, right? Arriba del perro. Uh, the house is, pero eh, nótese que aquí hay una distancia. Wow. Esa, esa podría ser una diferencia que se puede notar con estas dos. Hay una distancia más eh, grande. Uh, how about number six? The house is... Is between the oh. dog and the tree. Okay, between, between, repeat that, between. The house between. is between the between. dog and between. the tree. Number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Easier, right? Okay. So now, uh, can you read number one, please, Eduardo? Mm -hmm. Number one. The house. The house is behind the car. Okay. So remember, behind, below, left. In front of, above, between, and right. Marvin, continue with number two. The dog is below the sun. Okay. Elsie, continue with number three. The tree is to the left on the house. Okay. To the left of the house. House. Left on the house. Okay, of the house. Number four, uh, please, Sarita. Four. The car is in front of the house. Okay, in front of the house. Oscar, number five. The sun. Okay, thank you. Dennis, uh, number six, or, yeah, Dennis. Oh, let's see. We have egg. Okay, let's see. Uh, Fatima, Fatima, help us, please. Fatima. Number six. Activate your microphone. It's off. Number six. The house in between the door and the street. Okay, the house is between the dog and the tree and the last one the dog is to the right of the house Está a la bridge. so okay. it has a plate of food right okay so we have another picture here so look at this we have a vase uh, a vase so this is a vase a table a flowers and a cat so we have missy food the cat is on the table okay the cat is under, under the table. On the, okay. the table. On the table. Number two, the vase is? On the table. On the table, perfect. The flowers are? On the table. So think about it. Um, so in, in, in the base. Mm -hmm. So Marvin, what do you think? In, on, at, under? Sarita, the flowers, yeah. number three. Um, the flowers is on. On. Over, over, oh. over. Encima. In. Dentro, dentro. Ah, dentro. In. Dentro. <laughs> It's in, right? In, in, dentro, right? Okay, nice. So don't forget that. So look at this. So again, we have another picture. 
So we have to write some sentences with this information. So I'm gonna give you some time so you can uh, work in pairs and write that correct form of these sentences, okay? So you, the example, look at the example. Ball and table. The ball, look at this, oh, the ball and the table. So here you have the table and here is the ball. The ball is under the table, okay? So that is what you have to do with this information. So I'm gonna give you some minutes, three minutes, it's enough. Yes? By me. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're gonna see. Okay, so let's see. Um, so join the breakout rooms, join the breakout rooms, okay? Take a picture, take a picture. But I'm gonna send you yeah. one. Yo le voy a enviar una también. But if you can do it, perfect. It's better. Sarita, ¿ya le apareció la invitación, Sarita? Yo no. Ah, vaya ahorita. Es... Él sí, ¿verdad? Ahorita, él sí. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ir alguien más por acá. Mm, Sarita, no sé qué le ha pasado a Sarita. Empezarle con él. arriba de la sí sería arriba entonces es y, y... arriba es abode adobe uh -huh. sería verdad abode vaya entonces la segunda sería El árbol está y la bicicleta. El árbol está a la arriba se ve también. Le ponemos a la par. Porque como que el, está el, o encima. Ya pues será. Ahí dice three L two. Ajá. Three que es en bicicleta. La bicicleta está el árbol es, está encima, atrás de la bicicleta. O atrás. El o a árbol la está sería a la par. Porque se ven a, a la par, ¿verdad? O así. Ajá. A la par será ¿verdad? Sí, sí, lo veo. <risa> es que se ve, se ve atrás y ajá. se ve a la par. Y se ve, ajá. Hoy se ve arriba, ¿va? encima también. Pongámosle a la par. A la par, pongámosle. A la par. Vaya, está bien. Eh, 
La, la, ya estoy viendo que el va. Ah, no, si lo va. Hola. No, me había confundido. <ríe> no, yo me, me había confundido. Entonces, está arriba. Es lo, lo, que, lo, está arriba. O encima de la, de la mesa. Ah. La nube. La, la nube está arriba. Arriba, ¿verdad? De la mesa. Entonces sería arriba es mi over. Over, eh. Over, ajá. No. Quiero ver. Over arriba de él. Sí, ¿verdad? Porque se ve arriba la nube. La cuarta sería. Y el árbol. La cuatro. Ah, Ajá. vaya ahí. Ah, quizás ahí es de, entonces de las dos formas. De ya las lo dos puse. formas. Ajá, o sea, ya... A la par le pusimos, ¿verdad? Entonces ahora ¿Eh? es arriba. Arriba. Arriba sería, ¿verdad? Mm. Ah, pero ahora la, lo que dice primero es la bicicleta. Ah, en la ah, primera es entonces el, el está árbol. abajo el árbol entonces está al, abajo del árbol ¿verdad? sí la bicicleta sería de esa manera ¿verdad? sí 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 así sería Porque... Sí, sería abajo, abajo del árbol. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, abajo. Sí, ¿verdad? abajo. Sería velo. Velo. Under. Velo, ¿verdad? Velo. Velo. Vale. Sí. Creo que ya, ya teníamos. <ríe> Vaya, revisemos. Y a dos, ¿no? Sí. sí. La segunda es. Sí. Y next to the bicycle. De bike. Sí. Pero, pero nos falta, ¿sabe que nos hemos comido el de como en el ejemplo que ella estaba dando, como comienza la oración? El di. Ajá. El di, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. El di. Entonces sería al principio, ¿va? Di básquet. Al principio, sí. Ah. Yo solo lo había puesto en una. No lo había puesto. Ya en sabré que estaba viendo. Sí, sí yo ya lo había oh. puesto en las otras. Ajá. Vaya, entonces. Así se. 
Ada kita coba. Ada sendiri. Wala. Hi, Sarita. What happened? ¿Qué pasó, Sarita? Ay, este, no me respondía el, ¿cómo se llama? El Inter y me sacó de un sol. El internet. ¿Verdad uh -huh. que te, ha estado teniendo problemas con eso, verdad, Sarita? Sí. Desde ayer, me parece. Bueno, ocurrió como tres días. Uh -huh. Y sería bueno preguntar ahí. Puede ser que esté fallando alguna, algún cablecito. Se está trabando bastante. Uh -huh. Podría ser. A mí me daba muchos problemas antes, pero a veces se me dañaban los, los cables que van conectados al, al móvil. Pero uh -huh. can change that. Se puede cambiar. Yo, yo los compraba en la ferretería después para cambiarlos. Uh -huh. No me guardó nada. ¿Qué le pasó, Carlos? Perdón. Es que estaba trabajando en la pantalla y no me guardó cuando me jaló a la sala principal. Mm, ok, quizás, no sé, verifique nuevamente. Lo estaba trabajando en... ¿Qué? Ok. Para, so... mí, para mí sería de básquet. Y... Ajá. On the table. Okay, number one. The basket is on the table. Number uh, two. Let's see, let me write that. The okay. tree is behind of the bicycle. Okay, the tree is behind of the bicycle. Okay, behind. Look at this. The tree is behind the Bicycle, okay. So all of you have this. Todos lo tienen así. The tree is behind the bicycle. Okay, nice. Well, well done. Uh, how about number three? What do you have for number three? The, the cloud. cloud. The cloud. Is the table. Is. Above. 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 Above the table. Okay. The bicycle and the tree. In front of? The bicycle is in front of the tree. tree. And the bicycle is in front. Eduardo, what do you it's have? It's above. Yo la tenía above. No, so it cannot be above. Mm -hmm. So above is when you okay. have a distance like this, the cloud and the table or a basket. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. The bicycle yeah. is in front of the mm -hmm. tree. Okay, nice. And how about a number five? Number five? The dog is the between. Between the dog. bicycle and table. Between? between. The and the table. And the table. Okay. Nice. Thank you, guys. So this, uh, this is correct. And we continue with some more exercises. So now I'm going to share with you something else. So just give me one second. Okay. So we're going to learn how to ask and give directions. So look at this. So, okay. Here. Okay, so when we ask for addresses or locations, we normally use this double H question, right? Where's, where's the supermarket? Where's the bookstore? Where's the library? Where is Poe Campero? I don't know, where's Dollar City? 
where is the book world? Where is the bakery? Where is the... So you can uh, add several questions, right? Where's, where's the supermarket? Where's uh, Dollar City, for example? And you can ask many questions. And another question that we normally use is how do I get to, okay, how do I get to a Dollar City, for example? Entonces, tenemos dos preguntas para eh, ubicarnos o solicitar una dirección. So, the first one is where's, using where, and the other one is using how. How do I get to? ¿Cómo llego a tal lugar? How do I get to Dollar City? How do I get to the bank? How do I get to, okay, the bank? How do I get to the cafeteria? And, um, and in these cases, you have to use um, the prepositions of movement, right? Or place. Entonces, y es ahí donde vamos a utilizar todas esas preposiciones que hemos visto. So now, look at this example. We're going to be checking some examples. Where's the supermarket? So where's the supermarket? Look at this. Uh, can you read that? Uh-huh. It's... Left. It's ah, around okay. the corner. Ah, it's around ah, the ah. corner. So that is another possibility. Está en la esquina, right? It's around the corner. Okay, it's around the corner. Look at this. Um, another one. Or you can say, how do I get to the... Let's see, how do I get to the supermarket? How do I get to the supermarket? Okay, first you go straight ahead and then you make a right or left. Uh -huh. You make a left. Entonces podemos utilizar las, las preposiciones que habíamos anteriormente. Okay, um, how do I get to the um, supermarket? Go straight, go straight ahead, or go straight on, go straight on, and make a left. Yes, is it right or wrong? Make a left. And then you have the address. The, um, how, do, how do you respond, right, to this question? How do I get to the supermarket? Okay, go straight on and make a left. And there you will find the um, supermarket. It's around the corner. So let's check some more examples. Let's check some more examples. Look at this. Where's the library? Where's the library, guys? Where's the library? Across. Across uh -huh. the street. It's across. It's across. It's across ah. the street. So you have to give a full uh, sentence, right? It's, you're referring to this building, okay? A donde está, okay, again, a donde está la biblioteca? Where's the library? It's across the street, okay? It's across the street. So now let's continue with another example. Where's the hospital? Yeah. Ideas, so give me some ideas, some possibilities. Go straight ahead. Ahead. Go or ahead. Or left. Mm, okay. So let's see what do we have. It's down the street. Okay. It's down the street. So that's another one. Is that? Where is the the hospital? It's down the street. It's down the street. It's down the street. Mm -hmm. Está calle abajo. Yeah, calle abajo. It's that what we say in Spanish. ¿Cómo lo diríamos en español? Ya por el palo de mango. <laughs> por el palo de mango. Across the mango tree. <laughs> Frente al palo de mango. <laughs> ok, it's down the street. Eh, Ajá, si esa persona está ubicada en esa calle, it's down the street. So you go, go along, go along, go straight ahead and it's, it's there. Ok, you will say, it. lo va a ver, right? Mm -hmm. O you can say, it's down the street. Okay, where's the bank? Where's the bank? So we have two buildings here. We have a hospital, I think, and a bank. Where's the bank? Donde está el banco? Uh-huh. 
So this is the bank, the and this bank is like a clinic or hospital. The bank is yeah. next to the hospital. Uh -huh. okay. The bank yeah. is next it's to the hospital. Next to hospital. Uh -huh. It's next, it's to, the next hospital. to the hospital. Acá yeah. pueden modificar el sustantivo the bank. Lo vamos a reemplazar por el pronombre it, right? It's next to the hospital. Okay. So let me know if you're copying something. Ahí se me están copiando algo. How about this one? Where's the church? Ideas? Where's the church? What do you think? Give me one idea. Let's try, try. Try right ahead at the left. It's on, on it's on the left, it's on the left, yeah. it's on the left, está a la izquierda, it's on the left. Or you can even, you can say this, right, with this, right, where is the bank, okay, it's next to the hospital, on your left, a tu izquierda, on your left, okay, the question, where is the bank? The bank is next to okay, next to the hospital on your uh, left side. At tu lado izquierdo, okay, on your left side. So that depends, and in, uh, depende ahí de donde que de donde se dirige usted, verdad? Si va bajando, it's down the street, on your left. Está bajando la calle a tu lado izquierdo o a tu lado derecho. So it's down the street, on your left or on your right. Right? Okay. So let's continue. Okay. So how about this one? This is the opposite. Where's the restaurant? On, on, left or right? It's on right. It's on the right or on your right. Está a la derecha. O oh, podemos decir que está a tu derecha. It's on your right. Okay. So now look at this. How do I get to the museum? How do I get to the museum? ¿Cómo llego al museo? So this is the question. How do I get to the museum? How do I get to the museum? Look at this. Go straight on. So follow that. Go straight on. And then, okay, turn left. So what happened next? Right, it's across from the school. Miren, nótese de acá desde el principio. ¿A dónde está el museo? Where, how do I get to the museum? ¿Cómo llego al museo? So imagine that you're in, in the city or you're looking for the museum. Okay, um, Eduardo, go straight on and then you, may, you turn left or you make a, a left. After that, you have to turn right and you will find the museum. It's across from the school. So that's how you have to give the, these addresses, right? Entonces, así vamos a ir dando nosotros direcciones. So go straight ahead, turn right, turn left. It's across from the museum. It's across from. Y utilizamos ahí los otros lugares que tenemos alrededor para dar la indicación. It's across from the school. If you know the place. Si conocemos el lugar, right? So now, look at this. You have a task. How do I get to the police station? How do I get to the police station? So try to give me ideas. How do I get to the police station? Okay, 
So here you have the first instruction. Wow. How do I get to the police station? Use the prepositions, use the prepositions. Go straight, go straight ahead, okay. Ah, okay. So you also have the blocks. También tenemos las cuadras. También tenemos las cuadras. Podríamos decir, go straight ahead, two blocks. Okay? Or go two blocks. Go straight ahead, but that, that's okay. Go, go straight on or go straight ahead, two blocks. And then, y luego, vamos utilizando ahí los conectores. Do you remember the connectors? Turn, then, turn right. after, okay. And then, turn. Go, go ahead one block. Right. Okay, so that could y be another. Yes, podría, podría ser otra forma de cómo llegar okay. para acá. Okay. So look at this. Go two blocks or go straight ahead. Two blocks and then turn left or right? Right. 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 Okay. Turn on the right. Okay, how about this one? Y esta? So which is the instruction? Okay, now I turn on the right. Ya giré a la derecha. Ahora, ¿qué hago? So what do I do? Go one Go block. One block. Mm -hmm. Avanza una cuadra. Un, una cuadra. And then? It's on, it's on the left. So copy this example, copy this example. So this will help you. So let's, let's try to repeat that again. Uh-huh, Carlos? Go to blocks. Mm -hmm. Turn on the right. Go one block. It on the left. It's on the left. Como son indicaciones, Usualmente van en imperativo, van en eh, así, así, en forma de instrucción. Sola. Mm -hmm. El verbo, go to blocks, turn on the right, go one block, it's on the left. Pero podemos ir agregándole conectores. Ok, first, primero que hago, ok, first, go straight ahead, yo estoy utilizando otra, go straight ahead, two blocks, vaya, de, de ese derecho acá, dos cuadras. Go straight ahead, two blocks. And then, turn on the right. Podría ser, turn on the right or make a right, right? Okay, haz un giro a la derecha. After that, go one block. Avanza una cuadra. And it's on your left. It's on your left. And there you have it. So, but you need to know the place. Pero necesitamos conocer el lugar. ¿verdad? Si no, lo vamos a mandar para otro lado. <laughs> Okay, o lo que estaba haciendo Carlos también, Carlos. Carlos says, um, said, go one, go straight ahead the block. Carlos parece que lo quería hacer acá, quería hacer el giro acá, también era posible. Y acá tenía que ir haciendo los cruces. Go, okay. entonces sería, go eh, one block. Okay. Turn the right, turn on the right. Mm -hmm. eh, go one block. Go one block, turn on the left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mande. Go one block. Excellent. Marmin. On the on the right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ah, no, 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 yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got hey. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Carlos. Okay. Justo así como lo hizo Carlos. Okay. Ah. Perfect. So now, um, I don't know. Did you copy this? No sé si lo copiaron. Oh, oh, tómale una captura para que tengan ahí la idea. So you can play with that. Because we're going to have some listenings. Okay. Look at this. How do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the hospital? Um, we are over here and the hospital is... Ah, okay. It's really close. The hospital is here. How do I get to the hospital? Ideas. I don't know. Vamos a ver quién se atreve. Sarita, um, let's see, Elsie, Marvin, somebody. Eduardo, Douglas, Fátima, Héctor, Oscar. 
anybody. Vamos a ver, ¿qué se anima? How do I get to the hospital, guys? Eh, yo go straight ahead de one block. Okay. And then? And then across. Make, no, and then uh, make a right. Make a right. It's on? It's on? It's not necessary because only make a right is in front of the, the, the hospital. Okay, make a right. It's, well, I will add it's on Oak Street. Make a right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this. So you can see. Go to the corner, but that, that could be another one. Go to the corner, ve a la esquina, and then, so what do you say? Turn right, make a, make a right. Go straight on. Mm -hmm. So in here, you have, you have to add the... Um, the name of the street. It's at the corner of Park Avenue and Oak Street. So let's look look for the addresses again. Park Avenue and Oak Street. It's at the corner. Está en la esquina de Park Avenue and Oak Street. So we start with the avenue and then you continue with the street. Okay, again. So how do I get to the hospital? So you can say go to the corner or go straight ahead one block. Then make a right, make a right or turn right. Go straight on. It's at the corner of Park Avenue and Oak Street. Yeah, the thing is that the hospital, it's, it's at the corner. But it was very good, Eduardo. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue with another example. Let's see if we have another one. How do I get to the stadium? How do I get to the stadium? Guys, tell me. How do I get to the stadium? Anybody? So remember that we have some addresses. Uh -huh. It's really similar. Look at this. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién se anima? Fátima, Sarita. Go to the es... corner, then to the right, and go straight on is a front of the hospital. Okay, well done. Let's see. Go we to the corner. Go to the corner. We go to then the corner. Then to right. We turn right. Okay, and, and then go straight on. Okay, two if... blocks. Go straight on two blocks. Two blocks, okay. It's front of a gas station. <laughs> In front, okay, yeah, that could be possible, acceptable. También puede ser. It's on the right, está a la derecha, opposite the gas station, opposite the gas station, but that was uh, clear. Mm -hmm. Opposite the gas station. Look at this. Okay, now. So right now we're gonna check uh, another example. How do I get to the garage? Marvin, help us Marvin. How do I get to the garage? Where is the garage? Let me see. Um, so I'm gonna show you the rows. Le voy a mostrar acá las flechitas. The arrows. Go. Go to in front. Mm, go to blocks. Uh, blocks is cuadras. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Go to blocks. Go. Acá le voy poniendo las flechitas. Okay. Acá le voy poniendo las flechitas. Don't worry. Go to blocks. Go to. Um, go to two blocks and. Turn. Of the left, or left, left, or left. Okay. okay, and the last one, it's on. It's on. The last one. 
Está a la. It's on the right. Across from the park. Across from the park. Mm -hmm. okay. Acá está a la derecha. Miren, está a la derecha. Al otro lado de. O enfrente It's de. Right park. across mm -hmm. from the park. Okay, again. So how do I get to the uh, car wash? I think that that's that's a uh, oh yeah, a garage. That's like um worship. Okay, go straight ahead two blocks. Then turn um okay, turn left. It's on the right across from the park, or it's uh across from the park. Okay. Acá, eh, un solo que diga it's across from the park podría ser válido también. So, because you can say that that is the opposite, right? From the park. Okay. So now, look at this. Just to finish, I need you to uh, ask questions about this. So you have to ask questions about the um, Rick's corner. And uh, we have a, a cine, cinema here. We have a park. We have, a, I don't know, it's like clothing. Oh, okay, the this is the library and a gas station. So I need you to practice and create at least, um, let's say, um, two dialogues or try to uh, practice with the question, how do I get to? and try to give uh, your classmates the addresses. Okay, so take a picture. Tómale una foto, vamos a practicar. So in the breakout rooms, you're going to practice with a classmate about these uh, addresses, okay? Are you ready? You ready? So, which is the question that we have to ask? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que tenemos que hacer? Do you remember? How do I get to? Where? Donde? Ajá. ¿Cómo llego a tal lugar? O oh, la otra pregunta es, where's the? Okay. Where's the bank? Where's the gas station? Where's the hospital? Okay, so but now, right now I need you to give the addresses, the locations to your classmates. Quiero que le den las indicaciones a sus compañeros cómo llegar a estos lugares. So at least try with uh, some of them. Traten con algunos de ellos. So I'll be checking uh, the groups, okay? So uh, join the breakout rooms and we're going to have a practice, okay? Join the breakout rooms. Sarita, me avisa ahí si le aparece ahí.
la pantalla de presentación. Hello, hello. Hi guys. Hola chicos. Hola. Dígame chicos. La pregunta, eh, la, la dinámica es, eh, yo le pregunto a Héctor, uh -huh. ¿cómo hace lo... para llegar, por ejemplo, uh -huh. al taller PAL? Sí, puede ser. Pueden ed elegir ustedes algunos de, de ellos. Por ejemplo, ahí como que hay una coffee shop, hay como una tienda de café. Um, me parece que hay un cine. Sí, hay un cine. How do I get to the cinema? How do I get ah, sí, to sí, the sí. park? How do I get to the gas station? Pero, yo les, bueno, no sé si tienen la captura. Le voy a poner aquí la, la imagen y le toman una captura. Okay. Rapidito, ok. Vamos a ver. En el laster. Ya no la encuentro. Let's see where is it. Acá está. Ok, ya está. Ah, esa la tengo yo, correcto. Ah, esa ya la tiene. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, no, sí, no hay sí, problema. Sí, Ajá, pero es que en la otra, en esa se ve súper bien. Ok, esto. How do. I get coffee shop. Sarit, eh, Elsie. Diga. ¿Llegaría usted a alguna? A la gasolinera. A la gasolinera. No veo la gasolinera. ¿Dónde está la gasolinera? Eh, ¿Dónde está un carrito? Ah, ya. ya vi. No hay gasolinera. Frente al estadio estaba. Sí. sí. Vale. Sería. Eh, gira a la izquierda. Gira la pregunta la... primero. Ajá, hagamos la pregunta. Uh -huh. Hagamos la primera de cómo llego a la gasolinera. How do you... I get to. The... Ahí sería la gasolinera, no sé cómo. ¿Dónde está la gasolinera? Where is the... How do you bueno. I get to go? Gas, gas, creo que. Uh -huh. How do I get to? How do I get to the gas station? Uh -huh. How do I get to the gas? Uh -huh. How do I get to the gas station? Uh -huh. Sí. Pongan acá la, la picture, se la voy a poner yo para escucharlo. Okay. Ahí está. Tú ronde. Sería go to the corner. Ajá, muy bien. Empezamos. Recuerden que empezamos de aquí. Go to the corner. Ya estamos aquí. Sería okay. turn right. Turn right. Y ahí sería go to the corner. Go straight on. Go straight on. ¿Cuántos bloques? ¿Cuántas calles? ¿Cuántas cuadras, perdón? Two. One. Two streets. Two, two blocks. Two blocks. Ok. Two blocks. One, two. Ok. It's at the corner on from the stadium. Ok. It's across from the stadium. Ok. It's across from the stadium. Ok. Yeah. I agree. Well done. Continue, continue. No sé a quién le van a preguntar ahora. Elsie. No, estaba alguien más. Elsie, vamos okay, a ver. Ah, sí, aquí está Elsie. Sí. Yolanda. Y Yolanda. También, no sé. Sí, soy. <laughs> ok. I'll listen to. <laughs> You're listening. Ok, uh, ask the question. No sé quién va, quién va a preguntar, chicos. Who's going to ask? Mm. Where is the police? Police station? Mm. Police station? ¿Dónde está? Where? In... 
Espere, pues empezamos de acá, empezamos desde acá. Um. Ok, le vamos a poner acá una, ok, voy a ir haciendo el dibujito de las líneas de las flechas, de arrows. Sería, go to block. Sería, is to block down. Ok, le catiz, go to blocks, go straight ahead, to blocks o go to blocks. No sé si lo iban a hacer, podría ser acá el cruce o puede ser acá. Entonces puede ser go straight ahead, go straight ahead, las que veíamos al inicio. Vaya a ser recto, ¿cuántas cuadras? Two. Ok, Two go blocks. straight ahead, two blocks. Y ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Cruzar a la derecha. <laughs> ah, ok, how do you say cruzar a la derecha? O hacer un giro. Sería turn right. Turn right, ok. Left, right. Miren, izquierda, derecha. Ok, left, right. Ok, turn, um, uh -huh. turn right. Ok, Go ya giré right a la derecha. ¿Y ahora? Go straight on. Go straight on. Ok, go straight on. Go straight on. Okay. How many blocks? One or two? ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántas cuadras? Two blocks. Okay. Go straight yeah. ahead. Two blocks. Two blocks. Okay. Where Where is the police station? It's at the corner of from the Gas station. Mm, not really. No realmente. Acá we have an empty space. Acá no hay nada. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be possible. Okay. It's, so, at, it's at the corner in the Park Avenue. Mm, okay. Okay. It's at the corner. Uh -huh. It's at the corner of Park Avenue. Está en la esquina. It's at the corner. On, o podría ser, it's on your right or left. O pueden decir también, ok, desde acá. Turn right, go straight on, two blocks. It's on, it's on, así de sencillo. It's on your right or left. If on left. Mm, ok, vamos acá. Si vamos acá, ¿de qué lado me queda? Izquierda. Left, left. Ok. Ok. It's on your left. Mm -hmm. Ok, nice. Let's see. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Another example. Question, question. I don't know. Somebody. Marvin, ask a question. Marvin, pregúntale a alguien. Se durmió. Yeah, he disappeared. Marvin. Okay, let's see. One, one more. One more. Um, how do I get to the... Um, okay, Where how do you? I... Uh -huh. Douglas, go ahead. Ask. Where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Okay, where is the hospital? Ladies? Where is the hospital? I, I, I puedo decir cross, cross the tree, cross the street. Mm. Yeah, you can say uh, it's across from it's across from the street. Está cruzando la calle, pero está en la esquina. Entonces tenemos que ser un poquito más específico. Por ejemplo, it's um go. Uh, vamos a ver, Douglas, go. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. Vamos a la esquina. Okay, go to the corner. And then turn. Turn right. Turn, turn right. right. Okay. Gira la derecha. It's. Go straight on. Okay, go straight. 
Y acá, it's on. Y ahí, ahí llegamos. Gira a la it's derecha. It's at the corner of the park avenue. Ajá, uh -huh. it's... And... Uh -huh. It's at the corner of Park Avenue and Oak Street. Está en la esquina. It's at the corner. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, continue with one more example. I'm going to ask you to go back in a moment. Pueden terminar una última en lo que pasa ese minuto. Okay. So I'll go back to the main session. Hello, hello. How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo, chicos? Ese or difficult. We need to practice, right? ¿Cómo estuvo? Activate your microphone, Carlos. Mm. Good. Okay. So look at this. Okay, so creo, solamente aclaro este punto. Creo que alguien tenía dudas ahí de cuándo usar over y above. Over significa arriba, pero no encima, arriba. Above es arriba, pero no eh, directamente eh, sobre algo o alguien. ¿De miren? Over significa arriba de, al, eh, arriba de, eh, o sobre alguien o algo. Y above también significa arriba, pero no está directamente abajo de, ¿verdad? Como el sol, ¿verdad? No está directamente abajo de usted o de algo en particular. No, es, no está la misma, vamos a decirle, distancia o, en, o directamente en este punto. Ok. Eso podría ser otra diferencia que podrían tomar en cuenta entre above y over. Ok. So, look at this. I'm going to pass the tendency. List, so, help me, please. Um, Carlos Enrique Guerrero. Present. Thank you. Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Present. Thank you. Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga Menjibar. Present. Thank you. Elsie Yanira Ramirez. Elsie Yanira Ramirez. Activate your microphone. Present. Thank you, Elsie. Fátima de Jesús Gómez. Oh. Present. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Ascuña Ramírez. Gabriela Michela Maya Guzmán. Héctor Alejandro Pérez. Present. Thank you, Héctor. Iliana Guadalupe Jerónimo Morales. Present. Hoy estuve como oyente por, por ahí motivos personales. Iliana. Sí. sí. Correcto. Gracias, Iliana. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilares. Aguilar, perdón. Present. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Nikki Daniel Acosta. Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos. Thank you. Ramiro Denis Linares. Ramiro Denis Linares. I'm here. Okay. Sara Gisela Peña. Está por ahí. Sarita Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Gabriela Fane. Hernández. Present. Thank you, Thank Yolanda. You. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next class. So that will be tomorrow at 8. Nos vemos mañana, chicos, a las 8. So have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.